Hey everybody, welcome back to On3. We're still working on the uh, Rooster Roost, and I'm attempting to close in all of the big gaps for the, um, I guess you call them soffits. Now, I guess the typical way that you would do that is you would box in the rafters out there to close it all in from the outside, um, and then close it all up in uh, underneath. But that just eats up a ton of material, so I'm not going to do that. All I'm really doing is cutting pieces of wood, small blocks of wood here out of the scrap plywood that I still have left, and I'm just filling in the holes. Now I still got a little bit of a gap here, little gaps here because these rafters are so crooked and warped and everything, but I'm just going to take some modern day, modern day chinking, otherwise known as spray foam, and probably fill all that in and it shouldn't be a problem. Well, that's closing it in pretty good. I've tried to streamline the tools and materials and stuff that I use a lot. I use this little Ryobi impact driver for almost everything, even drilling holes and stuff like that, as long as you have that kind of little um, speed chuck type of bits. Uh, and that's pretty much all I use exclusively. Um, and this T25 size is what I build almost everything out of. These screws, I could build the world out of these number nine three inch deck screws. That's pretty much what I use for everything. Any kind of construction construction purposes, that's what I typically go to. Um, right now I'm using the um, same, same kind of screw, the torque head, the star drive, whatever you want to call it, T25. But these are inch and five eighths and it's plenty long enough for what I'm doing. Now, I think the minimalist side of me and the prepper side of me are always kind of at odds with one another. We're always kind of, always kind of clashing and button heads. The minimalist in me, uh, I just want to get rid of all the junk that I don't have a need for at the current moment in my life. <laughs> and it, it's so nice to just get rid of a bunch of junk that's been piled up and you haven't used it in over a year. But at the same time, if Home Depot decides one day to say, you know what, never mind, um, you will have wished that you hung on to those scrap pieces of plywood and two by fours and bought an extra box of screws that you didn't think you'd need and that kind of stuff. Um, my wife, God bless her, I love her so much. She is beautiful. She's smart. She's way out of my league. I don't know why she ever she ever went out with me in the first place. But she loves to hoard stuff. She likes to, I mean, she's not like a one of those crazy hoarders like you might see on TV, but but she does like to keep stuff. We've got, I think we had something like five or six ceiling fans laying around from different jobs that I'd worked on and, and brought them home because she wanted them. What are we going to do with five or six ceiling fans? I don't know. But I'll probably thank her when I hang one up in here, For that's for sure. Um, on a hot summer day, that breeze will be nice, and I'll feel like an idiot for making fun of her. <laughs> Got three more to finish up on this side. It's getting a little bit late in the evening. I'm going to call it a day, and then I'll do the other side probably tomorrow when I get done with doing whatever else I need to do for the day. But it's closed up pretty nice. Can't see much air, much daylight coming through those cracks. And I think that's going to keep most of the larger critters out from the rafters at least. And I could spray some spray foam and little nooks and crannies. I appreciate you watching my videos, guys. I really am grateful for you hanging out with me. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. It helps me out. So I haven't been putting out a ton of videos on my channel because I've been making videos for Survival Dispatch. If you're not, a, not already subscribed to their channel, you should check it out. But I shoot about a, a, a video a week for them, so four videos a month. And I've got a couple, maybe two or three, something like that, on their channel already. You should go, go check them out. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. Um, but I'm going to still attempt, do my best to make sure I'm putting a little bit of content out on my channel as well. It just makes it tough. It's hard to, you know, um, 
the the toughest part about it is just coming up with the content being always thinking of new fresh ideas to talk about and to do this project is easy because it's just something i'm going to be doing around the house and i'll just take you on the ride with me but um fresh new content is always kind of uh at a premium and it makes it a little bit challenging when you're making content for another another channel but i'm very grateful to be doing that and you're going to see a lot of me on their channel so check it out survival dispatch I always have this strong desire as a flaw of mine that I'm revealing to you. Uh, I always have this strong desire to, to quit a job right as I'm about to finish it. I've got one more of these and I have this, <laughs> this, this urge to be just like, eh, it's good enough for the day. When I'm almost finished, just like the other day when I had one more piece of plywood up there and I could have I finished it, could have got it done, but I just put it off to the next day. I don't know why I do that. It's really frustrating. Um, I guess we all have, we all have our flaws, we all have our weaknesses, and that's just one of mine that I need to work on a lot harder. So thanks for keeping me accountable. 